Hi, my name is Sherry. I'm a realtor in Vancouver and welcome to my channel. I'm all dressed up today because this year in 2020, we are celebrating the holidays alone and virtually. Welcome to the end of 2020. Let's go outside. Every year in December, as work begins to taper off and the holiday festivities begin, I would set aside some time for myself to recap my year. This annual ritual of mine has been a way for me to assess my own personal growth, to evaluate my accomplishments, and to also determine whether or not I've reached certain goals that I've set for myself back in January. Even though the events of 2020 has significantly affected how my year has turned out, but I feel extremely lucky to be able to look back and say that I've done some exciting things this year. I don't compare myself to anybody else. I only measure myself based on this year's me versus last year's me. And if I have up my game year over year, then I consider myself to have succeeded. Back in January of 2020, I set myself a challenging goal of visiting three new countries that I've never been to before and add more stamps to my passport. Thank you. somebody like myself who often chose work over travel I've never traveled by myself before and on top of that I was trying to save money for my trip and take time off work this was a big challenge With the world being shut down by mid-March, I am lucky enough to say that I've traveled to one new country this year. In early March, I found myself in Borneo. This is the third largest island in the world, shared by three different countries, Indonesia, Brunei, and Malaysia. On March the 8th of 2020, I landed in Kota Kinabalu, Malaysia, and I met up with a group of like-minded individuals that traveled with me for eight Hi. days discovering amazing places, unfamiliar animals, and learning about the humans that called Borneo home. My love for real estate extends so much further than seeing how extravagantly people can live in Vancouver. To truly appreciate life is to be able to witness how life is lived everywhere around the world. And how land is used to sustain life can look so foreign and unforgiving sometimes. But when you least expect it, it's beautiful. This village here is right by the beach and these are all fishermen and why there are so many bottles is because they keep getting washed ashore so the locals have found ways to use them to make them into something prettier, reuse them somehow. All of 
these are bottles. They're being reused, colored, and used as decoration all over this village. Can you go see the rain and hangs? visit to the Kinabadagan River, we stayed for two nights at this amazing eco-resort built along the bank of the river. The entire resort and all of its rooms are built on these wooden stilts, linked together by a series of boardwalks. Every afternoon around 3 p.m., thousands and thousands of cicadas would make so much noise you won't be able to hear each other talk. Each hut was a single guest room crafted with a rare native timber tree called the Borneo Ironwood. slept with all kinds of jungle creatures in my room, including a frog, a few geckos, and a really loud cicada that I trapped inside the mosquito net of the bed beside me. Literally, inside one of the beds. Every morning, over a dozen monkeys will visit me at my hut, jumping on the roof, swinging down the tree branches and hanging out right outside my door. I have to bring back my slippers because he's just sitting outside. Monkeys take everything. I'm just inside my room. Let's go say hi. Hello. Hi, monkey. All the monkeys are here again. There was an angry one that was hissing at me. And then this guy told him to go away. Oh, there's a little baby. Oh my goodness. They're everywhere. Ooh, I think I might be trapped here for a little bit again. <laughs> As we explored the rainforest and learned about the native cultures, we had no idea that the world around us was on the brink of a chaotic global shutdown. On one of the final nights of our trip, we stayed up until the wee hours of the night to help release baby sea turtles to the ocean. Did you know that newly hatched baby sea turtles follow the moonlight to the ocean? barely old enough to know what sunrise looks like. These baby sea turtles follow their innate abilities and their untainted bravery to dive head first into the deep end of the ocean to explore the depth of the unknown. What name you give them? One of them is Sherry Dupuyo. <laughs> 007. Not knowing which turtle was which, I randomly named one of them Sherry 2.0. Hopefully, she was able to find her way to a beautiful new life. Within 36 hours of me leaving Malaysia, the entire country went into lockdown and 
tourism came to an abrupt halt. In fact, there were fears that the tourists still traveling the country at the time were at risk of becoming homeless because the restaurants and the hotels were mandated to close. And on top of that, the airline flights that were supposed to take them back home were getting canceled left, right, and center. So much has happened since mid-March. The newly adopted practice of us working from home is changing the way we live, the way we shop, the way we interact. But time does not stop for any of us. In fact, powering through the hard times right now is how we're going to enjoy and appreciate the good times coming. I, for one, cannot wait until we can safely enjoy life again. My goal for 2021 is to expand on my endeavors to bring you on more real estate adventures with me, not only within Vancouver, but hopefully all over the world. In the meanwhile, have a safe and happy holidays and we'll see you in 2021. If you like my videos, enjoy the content and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe.